everybody, my name is Wanderer and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic today. And before I start the video, I would just like to say a massive thank you for the support that I got in the last video. Uh, we managed to surpass about 11 subscribers in a matter of hours, which is fantastic. And the overall support was just phenomenal and thank you so much. But uh, I would also like to apologize because I feel like the uh, the actual review of Fallout 76 was a little biased because as a consumer of Fallout 76 I want to enjoy the game and I have but there are a lot of negative things that I didn't mention or just left out and I would just like to apologize about that. Shout out to Fallout T51B for shouting me out. Uh, he has 13k followers on Instagram and is a good YouTuber and creates just phenomenal content. And if you're a Fallout fan like me or you're interested in memes, I really heavily recommend that you go check him out because he just makes fantastic content. But today, I will be showing you how to get inside of the White Spring Bunker and discover the Enclave in Fallout 76. They are the greatest faction ever and you get some absolutely phenomenal rewards from this quest, so I highly recommend you do this. However, I would only recommend being around level 15 to 20, or maybe even a higher level, because the quest, it requires you to go into some very, very difficult areas for early players and early levels in the game. This video will be done in two parts because there is just so much content to cover and some of it I haven't even discovered for myself yet. So I will be covering everything from the beginning of the quest to the quest officer on deck. Now that includes all the rewards, all of the uh, in-game items that you can get, the storyline and other stuff that just includes all of the quests included in the storyline of the Enclave in Fallout 76 up to the quest Officer on Deck. When I finally complete Officer on Deck, I will be uploading a video of it and uh, then moving on to the other ranks in the Enclave. Without further ado, my name is Wanderer and you're watching how to get into the Enclave bunker in Fallout 76. The first time we encounter them is in 1998's Fallout 2, where the Enclave described themselves as the remnants of the pre-war United States government, attempting to pull the strings in the background of the wasteland whilst wars between factions like the New California Republic and the Master's Army raged on. The Enclave are isolationists, and believe that their members are the most pure beings to walk the dust of the wasteland. This explains their hostility towards ghouls, scorched, super mutants, wasteland factions and even other humans trying to survive the harsh wastes. The Enclave, due to scientific curiosities, experiment with pre-war and post-war projects, the forced evolutionary virus being a prominent example, to create horrifying creatures to better understand the sheer effectiveness of radiation on the human or animal body. However, this curiosity has led to some major developments over time, making them the most technologically advanced faction to ever exist, surpassing even Fallout 4's Brotherhood of Steel. A few notable scientific successes of the Enclave include the creation of the Exo-1 power armor suit nearing the start of the war between US and China, which inspired the Enclave advanced power armor suits made in the 2100s, and the Hellfire and Mark II variants of power armor as well as a variety of plasma and laser weapons. With that brief description, let's begin our journey. Our journey begins where me and my friend are on this map. Our first stop is a waste disposal site in the mire, close to the edge between the top of the world region and a large body of water. Come equipped with your best armor and weapons, as inside there is not one, not two, but three death claws of varying levels. Luckily, me and my invisible friend James managed to kill these death claws and proceed with the hunt. After vaporizing, exploding, or any other viable methods of killing the Deathclaw trio, look for a gathering of dead bodies, Deathclaw eggs, and sticks. This is a Deathclaw nest, and inside there is something called a Bypass Holotape. Confused at first, I continued to search around the cavern to find if, if there was anything else of interest, and oh boy, did I find someone. Somewhere in the cavern, at any random space, you may come across a dead agent. This agent has his head completely torn off by those death claws. Poor guy. Anyways, on his body you should find another holotape labeled Operation Summary Blackwell. Here it is. Take a listen. I'm 
Commencing off summary. Agent Gray reporting. Blackwell won't be causing any more problems. The bypass holotape got me into the bunker as expected. Though a longer range is recommended for future models. Essentially had to play the thing standing on top of the access panel to get it to work. Without the lures to distract those freaks, I might be dead instead of the senator. Once inside, I was briefly halted by Blackwell's laser grid. But resetting the power allowed me to grant myself clearance. Recovery of the access car to our facility was less successful. I found a keypad, but was unable to decipher the code. Recommend sending in a specialist to collect it. I am proceeding to the next target, after which I'll... Wait. What happened to the power? The lures! Oh, God. Jesus. By now, you should have started the Bunker Buster quest and learned about this dead agent and his mission. In a summary, this agent is called Agent Grey, and he states that this Blackwell, whoever he may be, won't be causing any more problems. He also mentions that that bypass holotape you picked up earlier can get you inside a hidden bunker? We also learn that this Blackwell was a pre-war senator using this hidden bunker as a hideout, and was causing a bit of a stir for Grey's higher-ups, whoever they may be but Agent Grey managed to get through the security lasers and obstacles and successfully eliminate Blackwell as he states in his summary. However, Grey was unsuccessful in retrieving an access code for his faction's base as it was locked behind a keypad, also stated in the holotape. Maybe we will find out the details of what this code is. After this, head back over to that elevator and play the bypass holotape aloud, then... Invalid credentials. Access denied. User access updated. Welcome. We're in! Finally! Blackwell's bunker at last. After picking up some supplies from a first aid box, follow the stairs up and go over a bridge. After this, have a look around you until you find the note labelled Security System Manual Reset. The note reads, Security System Manual Reset. Throw circuit breaker, laundry room. Open air flue, above generator. Activate circuit conduit, upstairs in vents. All credit goes to Judy and her elusive dream of running multiple hot plates at once. Who's Judy? I guess we'll have to have a look around for any sign of this, Judy. And multiple hot plates running at once sounds like fun, yet a very energy consuming idea. Anyways, find the circuit breaker and open the air flue, and then finally activate the circuit conduit to reset the security system. <laughs> Scan your hand on this wall mounted hand scanner and disable the laser grid so you can pass through to the other side. On the other side of the lasers there is a terminal called Sam's Terminal. It is unlocked and requires no skills to hack it. On the terminal there are seven notes. The seven notes are called Judy says I should write. Free states bunkers. Judy, I'm sorry. Some kind of bat. Judy's gone. Been a while. And they found me. The first note reads, Judy says I should write, that recalling things and writing them down will help with my memory until she can find out what she needs to brew up some more meds, so I'm writing. When she's not taking care of her dad, she's been glued up to the radio upstairs, listening to folks crying for someone to save them. She's wondering why no one's coming. It's almost like no one listened to that interview at all. Just like I told her they wouldn't. She's a good soul. Which is why I imagine that this has been so hard for her, because there's no place for people like that in this world anymore. Damn, it really sounds like Judy is torturing herself. Almost like the screams she hears from the radio upstairs remind her of how helpless she is down in the bunker, and how she wants to help people. Sam's correct however, the wasteland has no good people left. Exiting the first note, we can scroll down to the second note. The second note appears to be a list of names and locations. 
Getting these down in case we need to get the gang back together. Niraj and Abby, due north of Thunder Mountain Power. Emma, east of Thunder Mountain Power. Riley, southwest of Diachemical. So Sam and Judy had a squad of people a part of a faction called the Free States, scattered across Appalachia or wherever these locations are. Niraj, Abby, Emma, and Riley. Maybe we'll come across these bases one day and maybe even meet these four people. It would be a sensible guess to assume that Sam and Judy were also part of this faction. However, remember the Enclave are what was left of the United States government, including senators like Blackwell. Did Blackwell abandon the Enclave? Was Agent Grey an Enclave operative? Or did he just go against government orders of what to do when the world ends? We may never know. The third note reverts back to the diary format of the first note. I'm sorry Judy. Judy went out to collect mushrooms, part of a grand plan for a mushroom and dandy boy apple casserole, which my stomach had been quietly fearing for the whole day. But she didn't come back. I cycled through our best foraging spots, only to find her deep in conversation with two men. Two men we didn't know. Two men who could have recognised her. I waited for them to part ways. If they were agents sent to find us, they clearly weren't good ones. When I got back, I tried to keep calm, to remind her why we have to stay hidden to remind her what telling the truth cost us. I... I got mad. That made her mad. Now she's upstairs and I need to get up the courage to say what's so damn easy to write. I'm sorry, Judy, but with everything that's been taken from us, I'm not about to lose you too. Judy almost got found out by two agents, possibly from the same affiliation as the late Agent Grey? We may never know. But we discovered that Sam and Judy are extremely close. Were they possibly in a relationship? There is only room to speculate. So, a bit of a mess up on my half here as I accidentally skipped this some kind of bat entry. But I could possibly speculate that the entry details Sam describing himself or Judy seeing one of West Virginia's deadliest creatures, the Scorch Beast. In the log, Judy's gone. Judith Blackwell, 15th of February, 2084, rest in peace. Bared her up on the crest, this disease, it moved too fast. So fast. One minute she was fine and the next, gone. I recognized it, this disease, at least I think I did. An old memo maybe? Was this what we were chasing? Had T warned me about this? I wanted to take her to the congressional bunker. They could have fixed her, I know it. But they would have executed me for treason. But maybe they'd let her live. But the maps weren't in the spots I thought they would be. And by the time I found her and built the scratcher, I just watched her die. Chatter on the radio coming from Harbour's Ferry gets grimmer every day. But others out there are dying of the same thing, and I can't do this on my own. About time I went for a walk. Judy loved going on walks. Don't forget this one, Sam. Oh man, Judy died! Was this disease that Sam talks about, the Scorch virus that we learn about through the main story of Fallout 76? Who is T? Who is Harper? If Judy died of the Scorch virus, it would make sense, as the last note was about some kind of bat, and Scorch beasts are mutated bats, which created the Scorched and the Scorched virus, which the responders of Flatwoods and the Overseer herself have been trying to rid Appalachia of. We also find out that Sam is the same Blackwell agent that Agent Grey was talking about in his operation summary, and Judith was probably a relative, or more likely, a wife. Finally, Blackwell mentioned something of a congressional bunker. We've heard of a special type of bunker before. The note after Judy's death reads, Things are going well at Harper's. Everyone either doesn't know who I am or pretends they don't. Riley has me working in the armory, cleaning weapons away from people. Good friend, that one. Came back to get a dose of a dick toll for a junkie that wandered in from the mountains. Figured I'd relax here for a bit. Sleep's been harder to come by recently. Having trouble remembering what Judy said I should take to help. She's a good soul. But there's no place for people like that in this world anymore. So Blackwell seems to have regrouped with some allies and works in an armory for a person known as Harper and still thinks of Judy. He must be traumatized after what happened to her, even if it has been a while. The final note is called They Found Me. Who is they? Is it Agent Grey in this faction? Let us read. Two days ago, I was in a line for a bowl of soup at Harper's. One of the newcomers wouldn't take his eyes off me. I didn't think I noticed him watching. Thought wrong. That night, I saw him walking outside the barrier. I followed. He was making some kind of recording. I couldn't risk it. Tried to make it look like an animal attack. 
messy, imprecise, threw some pieces into the river. Yesterday morning, uproar. People terrified about the attack. Made it too believable, I guess. Last night, I heard something fly over the town. Mechanical. Never saw anything. Stealth, most likely. They're looking for him. For me. As soon as I couldn't hear that sound anymore, I took my pack and ran back here. Today, I hung some meat in the cave. Tried drawing some local predators to scare anybody who might have followed me. Still have months of food in here. I should be safe now. Don't know what I was thinking leaving this place. Won't be making that mistake again. Indeed he won't. Because it looks like whoever Blackwell pissed off got him. Agent Grey to be precise. That mechanical sound must have been a vertebrate, and there's no other mechanical air vehicle I know of in the wasteland. And if it was a vertebrate, that means it was either a vertebot with those government supply drops, or worse. It was the Enclave. Those agents that Judy were talking to were Enclave. The person eyeing Sam Blackwell was Enclave, and Agent Grey was Enclave. Sam really messed with the wrong people indeed. This is truly a terrible situation we've discovered. Heading away from the terminal, finally we can continue exploring the rest of the room. And on top of a toppled over locker, we find the note labelled, Back off, Sam. Department of Defense. Back off, Sam. The decision's been made. The automated silos have been built in Appalachia. We're going to get the same early warning system as everyone else. But if you breathe a word about these timing discrepancies you keep on implying exist between the military and civilian warning systems, I'll make sure you spend the rest of your days in jail. You're going to start a panic, Sam. We're not discussing this again. Ransetti. So Blackwell went around saying that the military had an earlier warning system than civilians for when a nuclear detonation was detected, which led to threats from the Department of Defense for his imprisonment. He really was leading a life of swimming in hot or radiated water. After reading this note if you chose to, head over to the keypad on the wall. You might have missed it, but it's not too far away. The password is the day of Judy's death, possibly. 021584 Accepted. When this is done, head over to the painting hung on the wall close to the desk where Sam's terminal is, and reach behind it. When you've reached behind the painting, you'll be gifted with two items, one being the Congressional Access Card, and the other being a holotape called Welcome to the White Spring. This must have been what Agent Grey wanted to retrieve. Let's listen. After listening to this holotape, you are granted access to the quest, One of Us, and the contents of the holotape confirm that there is truly a bunker underneath the White Spring Resort, the same congressional bunker that Sam Blackwell mentioned in his terminal. I guess there's only really one thing left to do now, that being, to head to the White Spring Bunker. However, we've run out of time. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting, and I hope you've enjoyed watching and listening to the story of Sam Blackwell, the Free States, and the introduction of the Enclave. Now, this is the first part in a multiple part series that I'm doing on the Enclave in Fallout 76. So, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please slap a like on it. Subscribe if you're new, and turn post notifications on when you want to know when the next episode is out. My name is The Wanderer, and peace out.